When do you recommend a CBCT scan? In order for endodontic success, it is mandatory to have the proper endodontic access form, allowing for canal identification and treatment. Recently in my office, a fit, healthy 54-year-old male presented with the chief complaint of having on and off swelling. This was stemming from a draining sinus tract in the mucobuccal fold proximal to an endodontically treated upper left first molar. We took a full oral history, conducted pulp testing in the area along with an intraoral exam. The salient points of the history revolve around the initial endodontic treatment being completed three years ago. A sinus tract appeared within a couple of months after the endodontic procedure. He went back to the endodontist where different antibiotics were prescribed with limited diminution of the chronic infection, and the tooth was ultimately retreated by the same endodontic specialist last year. Ultimately, the decision was made to have the tooth extracted with an implant replacement. He presented at my office for a second opinion prior to the suggested extraction. We questioned him as to whether this quadrant had been scanned before and acquired a low volume scan of the area. We quickly visualize on axial view an untreated mesiobuccal canal as seen from this slice. The MB2 canal had been identified and treated twice. The patient became understandably upset, questioning me as to why this image was not taken previously. I did my best to answer his concerns and further consulted with him to at least investigate the mesiobuccal root to see if we can treat the apparent untreated mesiobuccal canal. We were able to resolve his sinus tract and associated limited subjective symptomatology after identifying, shaping, and irrigating the mesiobuccal canal. We also retreated the MB2 canal at the same time. This patient had been advised to have this tooth removed. I have enclosed the link to the AAE Spring 2018 Colleagues for Excellence, which discusses the impact of CBCT in endodontics, a new era in diagnosis and treatment planning. What are your professional guidelines that allow for the recommendation of a CBCT evaluation? Please chime in and leave your comments below as a discussion of this topic I believe will ultimately be in our patients' best interests. Please share our link with your colleagues and study groups. Thank you so much.